Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk. In this session, we will quickly cover how we can do the deployment in WebLogic 14.1.2 using the remote console. And along with that, how we can run the garbage collection and also how to take the thread dump from the remote console. Okay, so um, first I am going to uh, register my uh, admin console with the remote console tool. So for that, first I will create a project and I will give a name, development. Okay, now you can see a project has been created and a default starter task has been initiated. So I will go with the first option, which is to add admin server connection provider. And this option we have to select to add or register our admin console here. Okay, so let me choose it and let me give it a name. Let me give it dev domain. Okay, and let me give the username and password that I have given during the creation of my domain to this particular admin server. And I have configured my domain in the SSL mode with the demo identity and certificates. So I have to give the HTTPS and then HTTPS port. And I have to select the make insecure connection because this is the demo certificates. Okay. So let me click on OK. Now you can see my domain has been registered here with the remote console tool, which I can see inside the development project as well. Okay, so project concept is something like we, if you are going to register the multiple domains uh, inside your this remote console tool, for example, for development, you have a multiple admin uh, consoles or domains. For Similarly, you have a multiple consoles for a production environment, for testing a QA environment. So you can create a project for each and every environment and the corresponding domains or the admin console you can register inside the corresponding folders. Right. So let me close this one. So now first we will see how we can uh, run the garbage collection and then how we can collect the thread dumps. So it's a very straightforward. So we know that we have a four options here. The, if we are going for the configuration of the domain, that means we are doing the configuration of any of the resources, then we have to go with the edit tree option. Okay. And to monitor and start stop our applications or our servers, we have to go to the monitoring tree. Okay, so now because we are going for the deployment, okay, so we have to go for the edit tree because we are going for a resource configuration. So click on edit tree. After that, click on the deployment and then click on the app deployments. Okay, so here you can say it is blank because I do not have any application deployed as of now. Okay, so click on new. So here you have to give a name for your application. For example, let me uh, give the name as my bank. We have to select the target. So I'm going to deploy it on the admin server. So I have selected it. Okay. And if you were to upload your application, you know the location of the application and you can select this upload option. Okay. And if you know the direct path of your application, then you can disable it and you can directly copy paste the complete path here along with the application name. Okay. So I'm going to select it from my system. So I am selecting the upload option and let me click on this up arrow, which is a choose file. Okay, and let me select my application for the deployment. So this is my application. Okay, my bank.bar file that I have selected. Okay, and this is the staging mode. Uh, we know that we have three different uh, modes for staging, no stage, stage and external stage. So whatever the option you would like to have, you can select that one. Okay, we can go with the default as well. So default is the stage option. So I'm going with the default, which is the stage option on deployment so once the application will be deployed after that what you want you want your start application immediately after the deployment you don't want to start the application okay in that case you have to start the application manually after deployment or if you would like to start the application in the admin mode okay so that it will only only take the admin request okay so i want my application to be started after the deployment so i have selected the option start application right so i have given the basic initial information that is required for the deployment the name of my application, the target of my application, upload option, and then I have selected the location of uh, or the name of my file from the location. Okay. And then I have selected a staging mode as default, which is the staging mode. And then on deployment, I have selected the start application. That means after the deployment, my application will be started. So click on create. Okay. Now you can see that the deployment has been created. Okay. This is the name, this is the deployment order. And then you can see that other options as well the source path absolute source path staging mode and then you can see a lot of a lot of options are there okay with respect to the application now after the uh, creation of the deployment we have to 
commit the changes. Now you can see the changes were successfully committed. Okay, so we have deployed the application and we have committed the changes what we have done that is the deployment and during the deployment we have selected the option to start the application after the deployment so that means the application should have been started. Okay, so let me show you. So to monitor the status of our application you have to go to the monitoring tab. Okay, and inside the monitoring you have to go to deployment. And in, inside the deployment, you can go to application management. Okay, so here you can say this is the application and the current status of the application is active. If you click on this one, then you can see the name of your application, status, my bank and application version. Right. And if you would like to create any other dashboard for the monitoring, you can click on the new dashboard. You can give the name. Okay, and then you can apply the filter. So whatever the filter that you would like to apply for monitoring the deployment, you can apply the filters. Okay, and then you can click on create and a dashboard will be get created for you, which will be listed inside the dashboard folder or the dashboard option here. Right. So now we have deployed the application. So what I will do, I will uh, try to access my application. Okay, HTTPS because I have configured my demo in, in domain in the secure mode. Okay, and my host name and then the port of my admin server because I have deployed my application on the admin server and the context of my application, my bank. Okay, now you can see that I can able to access my application. That means my application has been successfully deployed. Okay, using the remote console tool. Right, so this is how you can deploy your application using the remote console tool. Okay, so now I will show you how you can uh, take the thread dump from the remote console also how you can run the garbage collection. Okay, so you have to stay inside the same uh, monitoring tree and click on the environment tab and then click on the JVM runtime. So inside the JVM runtime, you will see all the running servers here. So as of now in my domain only admin server is running, so I can able to see only the admin server. Okay, and with respect to that admin server, you can see the different configurations. Along with that, you can see the current, uh, what is the heap utilization. Okay, now, uh, to um, take the thread dump or to to run the garbage collection, okay, you can click on the server, okay. So once you will click on the server, all the parameters will be displayed here, okay. And now here you can see the two options. Here you can say this is the garbage collect, right? This is the hyperlink. So when you will, once you will click on this uh, uh, garbage collect, okay, it will initiate the garbage collection. So let me click. Now you can see the garbage collection has been successfully completed, right? So anytime you would like to run the garbage collection to free up your heap size of your server, you can click on the server name, click on, after that you can click on the garbage collection, okay? So once you will click on the garbage collect option, your garbage collection will be executed for this particular server, right? Now, apart from that, you can see thread stack dump, okay? So if you click on the thread stack dump, here you can able to collect the thread dump of this particular server, right? So this is inside a specific square tab, okay? What you can do, you can click inside that one. You can select all, control A, okay? And control C, and then you can copy paste it in a notepad, right? So this is the way how you can take the thread dump and how you can run the garbage collection for a particular server. Okay, so now because every server run on run on its own JVM. Okay, so if you would like to uh, run this particular <clears throat> garbage collection or you, have, you would like to take the thread dump for a particular servers. So for that you first have to click on that particular server. Okay, so once you will click on that particular server, then only you can able to run the garbage collection or to take the thread dump of that particular server. Right. So this is the way how we can deploy the application using remote console, how we can run the garbage collection and how we can take the thread dump using the remote console tool. Thank you.